Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon all of you, inshallah. I wanted to talk a little bit about my journey to Islam. Now, I've had a couple people ask me to do this video, and after hesitating for a little while, I decided to make this video. And the reason why I hesitated is because I feel like as a Muslim, it's um, better for us to uh, work to uh, better our lives um, instead of dwelling in the past. But upon thinking about this for a little while, I realized that there might be somebody out there that uh, who is going through the same things that I went through. And inshallah, maybe they could find uh, some kind of uh, inspiration or motivation in my story, inshallah. Now, I always had a little bit of faith in my heart for uh, the one true God and the belief in Tawheed and uh, the oneness of God and the faith of Abraham alayhi salam even before I became a Muslim. But the major turning point in my life, and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive me if I offend any of you, but I feel like that I need to be 100% honest and uh, lay my heart out on the line in hopes, you know, inshallah, that uh, somebody can uh, uh, find a way out of their situations that I've been through. But the major uh, uh, step for me was my own self-destruction. Now this is why I've made a video called Islam Saved My Life because truly Islam saved my life. I was born into an immoral situation. You know, my mother was addicted to drugs and left me when I was two years old. And my dad was left to raise me by himself. And, you know, this had uh, a major impact on my mind as a child and led me to have uh, major uh, anger issues and depressions when I was a kid. And this is what start, started me out on the path of darkness, was the immorality and the breakdown of the family. Um, and this, these are the things that, that led me into the lifestyle that I would come accustomed to later in, in life. Before I became a Muslim, I was addicted to drugs and I hung out with uh, gangs who, you know, terrorized people and um, selling drugs and, and uh, doing drugs and drinking alcohol. These are all the things that I engaged in before I became a Muslim. And the turning points in my life for me was when my father had to carry me into the hospital like a little baby in the fetus position because I OD'd on drugs. Or the time that I had a gun pointed in my face when I got robbed over a, a bad or a drug deal gone bad. Now these are the things that that I have a hard time getting over and I'm ashamed of uh, f still to this day. But in all that madness, something happened to me, you know, because Wallahi, God is my witness for some reason you know, I was searching for the truth in all this darkness that was surrounding my life. And that was the day that I picked up my first Quran and I started studying Islam. And upon my studies of Islam, it wasn't until many years later that I was liberated by one simple phrase. And that's La ilaha illallah Muhammad and Rasulullah. That there is no God but God. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the final messenger of God. Now since I've made this declaration, 
no longer am I unbearable to be around. And this is noticeable not only by myself, but my loved ones and those who are close to me. It was this gift, you know, and this mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me that made me the person that I am today. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that more and more and more and more people will be guided to this path, inshallah. You know, I get comments sometimes, you know, people tell me, you know, you're going to hell. You know, you, you became a Muslim, you know, you're going to hell. And, you know, my response to these type of people are, I was already in hell. Islam saved me from hell. It saved me from the personal hell that I created for myself.